And we're back to learning Inkscape, and this time I'm going to show you how to create a 3D shadow. So in the last video I've already created a home icon. If you've seen it, you can skip half of this video. I'm going to create a timestamp for that. And in the second half, I'll create a 3D shadow. But if you haven't seen it, I'll first create two rectangles. Then I select them both with a shift click. And I use align and distribute last selected, which is the black one and then the vertical alignment. So now it's in center. Make sure both are selected, then path, object to path. Once again, path and difference. Now we create a triangle, use the start tool, make sure it's three corners, then hold control when you drag that. I'll put it right there. I'll hold shift when I resize it to the side, that way both sides are resized at the same time. Once again, shift click on the black one, use the vertical alignment, and I resize it with the cursor tool just a little bit. Let me make that black with the bottom menu, and I pull it a little bit down so that I have an overlap between the rectangle at the bottom and the triangle. Now I'll create the chimney with the rectangle tool. I'll make sure all is selected, then path. Object to path, path and union. So we've got only one shape here, which is this house. Let me create a circle. I'll hold control and go to a 45 degree angle with the cursor. Let me give it a different fill color and I'll put it to the back. The cursor tool is activated. I can do that with the top menu. I'll shift click on the house. Both are selected. I use the vertical alignment once more. And for the horizontal position of the house, I'll just use the arrow keys or I'll move it around with the mouse while holding control. Let me use different fill colors here. I'll make the house white and the circle grayish. And now it's time to create our 3D shadow. I'll drag a guide out of the ruler. If you can't see that, press Ctrl R, then double click on it. And you get this menu and you can add an angle, example 75 degrees, but there would be a little bit too high. Just hover around it and then press the delete key. Your guide is gone. Drag another one out of there, double click. Let me use 50. I'll press OK and that's a good angle. Now I drag that to the chimney right here. The snapping is enabled as you can see. And you need a new guide with the same angle for every corner point. So at least every corner point that's not covered by a previous guideline. So for example, this one, so our third guide, I can directly put it to the left hand side. As all of the corner points on the right hand side are already covered by the two guides that we've already got. And these four should be enough. All of the other corner points are covered. So now I'll use the Bezier tool and just click on these corner points. Follow the guide just like this and then close the shape. Let me give it a different fill and you can see that. So this is what we've created. I'll bring the circle to the front and then I'll bring this new 3D shadow path to the front. I select both of the shift click, then path. And division. So this is what I've created here. And I give this part a different fill. Let me make that black. I'll put it to the bottom. And now I'll click on the house and I bring that to the front. Now I can get rid of the guides. The easiest way to do that is to go to file, doc file document properties, guides, and then delete all guides. And that's basically it. You can play around with the fill color now. And that's the way to create these 3D long shadows in Inkscape. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.